Good evening, folks. Welcome to tonight's game between the Wofford Terriers and the Oklahoma State Cowboys. Dick, you've been in this situation as a coach. What do you tell your team when it looks like a mismatch on tape? I tell you what, when you're the underdog, you got to come out and play with such fire. you got to simply tell them upsets happen when a three-star player plays like a five-star player, plays with intensity, emotion, and passion. The Cowboys should be able to run away with this one, Dick Vitale. Hey, what are the keys for them doing so? The keys are pretty simple, Brad. First of all, it's up to the point guard to be the leader, to control entire tempo of the game. Second, be strong with the ball. Turnovers can be the story here tonight, so protect that basketball. Lastly, get busy battling for the boards. Winning teams always rebound well. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. Got it. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Adam Momentary look from three-point land. Gets it to go. Takes the pass in the paint. Number 13, pump fakes. And up. I love this guy, Hook. You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brown, why don't more guys use him? perimeter he rejects it the ball goes out of play nice move with the face up and has it rejected defense did a great job with that block shot he keeps his dribble as they reset the center takes the feed Goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. What a terrific job on a defense to beat him in the spot, Mr. Nessler. They go into the low block. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. Look at that student body. They are going mad. The student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. The point guard takes the pass. The shot from the baseline. He gets the bucket. Look at that spacing. Now trying to feed the low block. He looks at the hoop. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. to feed the low block. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. For the bucket. I love this guy, Hook. You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brad, why don't more guys use him? Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. Now they're into it. That's got some people out of their seats. What a reaction, Brad. The fans are loving it. the perimeter try to go inside and they do they got on the low block the shooting guard with the ball he drains the shot down inside here's a nice face up down on the low block oh he did a great job face up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket Great anticipation defensively. Pull up jumper from way out. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. At some point, his team is going to have to step up and play at his level. He's carrying them right now. 
Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job of post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Lockhart is emotionally pumped up. And you know what, Brad? I'm excited for him. He's putting on a performance. On the outside, gave it up. And now they'll bring it up. And right in the circle, great shot. Are they confused about who goes where on that double team? Oh, there's no doubt. Turns it over. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. We got a good one going. Tickles the twine. The power forward gets the ball. Oh, what a strip, Brad. They run it up into transition. For two. Look at that drive. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> the crowd loves this young man. Yeah, they really know how to show their appreciation for him. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Up it inside. The shooting guard gets the pass. Steal. Turnover. Great job knocking the ball loose, then chasing it down. He puts it in with contact and all. The students are all fired up and ready to do whatever is necessary to help their team win. Isn't it great, Brad? What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Shoots from the top of the circle. Perfectly designed, perfectly executed, easy basket. Lockhart draws. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. The momentum is on their side. High fives, chest bumps. We're seeing all that. Hey, can you blame them, Brad? They're playing well. This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. Makes the foul shot. That was a high post screen. Goes to the lane. He better get rid of it. Pushing up basketball. And one too many dribbles and a steal. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. Looking for a good shot. Top of the circle. I'm not sure that's who you want shooting the three. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. Another look. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. The frustration right there. The fake. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He gets the rejection. Way off target. Defensively down on the low block, and there's a steal. A uh, terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. Pick up the defense here now. For the bucket. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court.
gets the rejection. The fans are definitely making a difference here, Dick. This is what I call home court advantage. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. The crowd is enjoying this close one. The fans are just waiting for the favorites to pull away. But will it happen here tonight? All right, thanks, Aaron. Defensively low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. A uh, terrific job creating the opportunity. I think really converts an offensive transition. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. Nice fake. Looking for a good shot. He intercepts it. That's spacing. Top of the circle. He makes the shot. He makes the block. With the fake from three-point range. Holland was a top recruit coming out of high school. Personally, I can't wait to see how he's going to develop. He was highly recruited out of high school. Hopefully he'll continue to develop and really blossom into something special. They work it around the perimeter. He shoots from downtown. There was no doubt about that one. the dribble gives it up Reese pounded on his way up he got inside off that screen but he couldn't put it in he is going to the line he buries it out to get his first minutes tonight. They have such a deep bench, Brad. This kid could start for any program in the land. Except this one, apparently. Well, you never know what the story really is. Oh, hard screen felt by the defender. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Takes away the pass. Outside. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I think doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making the throw to lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. He looks for three. Off the rim and no good. Jumped in front to take it away. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Here's a double team. That was nice. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Here they come now on a turn. What should they do here, Dick? I'd call the timeout to see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. 
There he is, strips the ball loose. For the bucket. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. Way out on top. He blocks the shot. Way off target. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Another turnover. And we're not talking out the turnovers either. Looking for a good shot. For two. Perfectly executed. Nicky's working on that low block and that right hip. I'll tell you what, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. They work the perimeter. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. It looks as though the students are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. The student body looks like they're having some fun out there. They work it around the arc. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He launches a three. Everything they throw up keeps hitting the target. NBM, nothing but nylon. Dump it inside. They work it around the perimeter. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block. He's got a three-quarter position trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. Gave it up. That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I'll tell you, it gets a hoop and a foul. He showed good concentration in that possession. Right? Check it out, Mr. Vitale. This young man is fired up. Look, he wants the crowd to show some love. He's feeling good, Brad. He's feeling really good. He'll visit the charity strike. He can't buy one. They take it off the defensive glass. Once you get that board, you've got to be looking up court. Went away from the post and goes the other way. Let's it fly. Nice job of using the screen to get open for that good shot. Taken away. On the dribble, gives it up. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Foul charge. Count it and the foul. That's how he likes it, baby. That is a great play. These kids have all the momentum now. Look at them. They're celebrating. I'd celebrate too, partner. They are playing some great basketball at the moment. Gave it up. Goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. What a terrific job on the defense to beat him in the spot, Mr. Nessler. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Has it rejected? Defense did a great job with the block shot. On the outside, he missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. He pulls the trigger, goes in.
excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. He knocks down another bucket. Dick. This kid's got skills, Brad. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. A defensive player beats him to the spot. The ball goes out of bounds. Brunson first hit and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. There they come with a double team to stop it. Him in the paint, but went elsewhere from beyond the arc. Off the rim and no good. Drops the bucket despite the harm. The student body looks to be full with rage and willing to cheer on the old home team. You can't forget about them. The witty humor and dedication to their teams. You can't find this in any other team sport. On the dribble, gives it up. Stolen away. Looks at a three. Wofford are a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. From right in the circle, the Cowboys have found a player who cannot seem to miss Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. out of bounds. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. High post player flashing. They work it back to the outside. Unloads a three. Man, he used that screen to perfection. He used it to get free, baby, for the good luck. Let's see if they go two for one here, Dick. Way off target. Gave it up. He shoots from outside. These boys are slinging threes left and right, left, right, down the center, every place. Hey, they're going in from everywhere, baby. Takes it away. Shot clock is dead. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. It sticks. Picked off. From way downtown. Off the rim and no good. At the end of the first half, the Terriers are down by four. It's a close one, folks. What have you got, Dick, as your play of the half? Well, the trifecta like we see here was and will be a part of the story of this game. We'll have to keep an eye on which team gets it going from out there in the second half. Let's get back to the action and see what happens. Oklahoma State shot lights out from the floor in the first half. I'll tell you, they executed exactly the way the coaching staff envisioned in their game plan. Huge credit goes to the players for making it happen on the floor. 
Well, Dick, we kind of expected that battle between David and Goliath, and that's what we saw in the first half. What do you expect in the second half? I tell you, always special when you see the David and Goliath, and you know that a lot of people out there always want to root for David. I think it's important when you're David right now to calm out and protect that basketball and get a good start in the first four minutes of half. He attempts to jump hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. He got his jumper off by running that defender into the screen. And the fans here are loving the action. Hey, pandemonium is in full effect. That's good. in the low block but opted against it unloads Holland was a highly touted recruit if my memory serves me correctly I'm happy that he's played out his eligibility rather than jumping to the pros that's what you want from your top star recruits you gotta be careful when you go for those steals Brad the Cowboys have got to continue to get him the ball Brad he's on fire Controlling the ball. On the dribble, gives it up. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. And again, they look to run. He's got a high post flasher. Puts it on the floor and up and under. They still don't score. And a momentary look from three-point land. Get that sucker out of the game, man. Wofford are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they've put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. He bombs from outside. Makes the shot. The Cowboys lead by six. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. That's a breakdown. That'll drive him coach bananas. I'll be to lose you here. <laughs> he shoots from left of the circle. It's good. Intercepted. That's picked off. Hey, kid's got great defensive court sense. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I'll tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. This defender is resilient, still applying pressure. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Look at that spacing. Leans in. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. Working around the perimeter. He shoots. Makes it. With a little baby hook. I'll tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. That's one of the best parts of college basketball, the student section. They're fired up and they're ready to try to help their team. The student section looks like they're having a great time. 
Dick, how's that backcourt comparison shaping up, do you think? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively, can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. crowd really admires this young man. He's very popular, Brad. He has done some great things on the court, and the people really appreciate him for it. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Definitely worth another look, Brad. around the perimeter. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. Fires it down. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Wide open for the shot. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense not allowing him to make that turn. Dick, he's simply on fire. Hey, call the fire department, baby. This one's burning up. Steals a pass. He takes the shot. Wofford have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position. Has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. Spacing that's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important on how talented boards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Working it around the perimeter. Puts up the tray. And he lured the defender to the screen, giving him time to shoot the sweet J. On the outside. Run him right at the screen again. What did I say? That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. The good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. 
He shields himself from the screen and scores the basket. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. And a momentary look from three point land. Set that screen away. Nichols a twine. of a team is you check to see how many times they go to the free throw line that's a great indicator got him both oh he drained it that's a nylon NBN launches the three he hits the shot circle gets it to go work the perimeter spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart oh, right to right there they missed him inside you got to get the ball when a guy is open that's a special heart feeding the post tries for two Dick, he's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, Brad. Very important. They're working around the perimeter. Got a nice screen. Goes up for two. And off the mark. The student body has got it going on. They look to be filled with rage and eager for a win. They look like they're having a blast. Jumps in. Perfectly executed. <laughs> Takes away the pass. On the dribble, gives it up. Gave it up. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. Shoots from the top of the key. Nice shot. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Controlling the ball. From three-point land. Off the rim and no good. Moving it around the perimeter. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. They're working around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Entry pass in the paint. Great pressure. He cashed in on the layup and gets the foul. He knew he was going to get fouled, Brad, but he took the hit like a man. Number 25 is put back in the game. Hey, this team easily comes apart without him out there, Brad. Howard goes to the line for the first time. Got to make the freebies. Well, that's 
spacing. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. Not that doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Takes the pass in the paint. There's a double team waiting there. It's stolen. He fakes the shot. Got a man in high post. Puts it up, looking for contact. Basket falls despite the contact. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He goes with a jump hook. I tell you, waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. Howard receives the ball. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. Dumps it in for the deuce. Great play to take that to the basket. This one is shaping up to be a barn burner, Dick. At this point in the game, clock management and execution are really important. The team that does these things well will win, I guarantee it. Doesn't go. The lane. Great defense. The point guard with the ball. Look at the student section, Dick, cheering on their classmates, their peers. If you ask any coach or player, I'm sure they'll say that the student section is the best. Oh, yes, the student body, always full of comedy and excitement. Jumped in front to take it away. Samuel handles the feed. Picked off for two. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? Looking for a screen on top and got it. He is just lighting it up, Dick. He's beating his man to the spot and hit the shots, Brad. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal them off. The point guard receives the pass. He tries the three. Yes! The power forward in the paint. These fans seem to be thrilled with what's going on right now in front of them. Hey, that reaction says it all. These fans are ecstatic, Brad. Intercepted. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Count that as a personal foul. Dick, let's take a look right now at our backcourt production. Hey, team success depends on backcourt production, Brad. If you can handle the rock, make good decisions, penetrate, and knock down the open jumper, you give yourself a great opportunity to get to the winner's circle. Now they work it around the perimeter. He intercepts it. the low block try to work inside and he scores despite the hack if they can get a basket here dick this crowd will erupt on the outside steals the pass gave it up this place will go senseless dick if they can get a stop the power forward gets the ball he goes with a jump look he sinks another basket. What are they going to do with this guy, Dick? I don't know, Brad, but they better do it quickly. 
The power forward gets the pass. Steal. This place will be in complete chaos if this defense can get a stop right here. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. He shows the sweet touch. Picks off the pass. Looking for a good shot. Up and inside. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking out of the box. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Artez just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. On the inside. He takes it away. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's a nice face up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. Wofford are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they have to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. Timeout's been called, so let's check in with Aaron. Well, Brad, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their players down. I'm sure they're anxious, and they may be a little frazzled. Let's see how it all works out, guys. Thanks, Aaron. Back to the action now to half court. Let's see what they set up, Dick. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. He's got some room. And the ball goes out of play. And again, let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a cap away. It's obvious to me that they are starting to heat things up right now. I'll tell you one thing. They're getting good shots, and they're making them gap. They're in a groove, baby. And when they're in a groove, that court looks like an unbelievable Atlantic Ocean instead of a teapot. It's a five-point ball game. That's not a lot of points to be down with this much time, Brad. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Well, Dick, it looks like they're going to spend a little bit of time fouling right here. It looks like they're going to slow the game down by fouling, Brad. Foul, and that stops the clock again. Brad, I think he'll continue to do so in an attempt to get back in the ball game. They should look to foul the opponent's weakest free throw shooter. And the clock stopped with a foul. Hey, now it's a matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to get back in this game. Good teams will get to the line with it, but getting there is half the battle. You then must convert your free throws. Foul shot, no good. back into action here. Cross court. They should try for the early foul here. How's the front court productivity tonight, Dick? You know, Brad, basketball is a big man's game. If you have a few in your team and are active and energetic, it makes your team that much better. Ultimately, you want all of your players to be productive, but an inside presence will separate your team from others. This is the second shot. Shot clock is dead. You gotta let the offense play into the double. Yeah, they may be forcing the double a little bit. 
He takes the three. He drains it. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. Coaches love it when their team gets to the free throw line. It's an opportunity to put points on the board and potentially get the opponent in foul trouble. Gets the second shot. The lead is up to eight. They could be starting to pull away here, Dick. He puts up the tray. Rims out. For the bucket, he puts it in with contact and all. Whitehead handles the pass. On the outside, got a wide open look. You know, upsets like this don't grow on trees. We see it once in a while, but this one still got me a little baffled. I tell you what, they couldn't close it out. They couldn't make the big play. They didn't share the basketball. They really got away, which made them such an outstanding team. Being unselfish and sharing the ball. Oklahoma State find themselves on the losing end of a good game. After a loss like this, you have to question their ranking. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.